Hey guys, welcome to the channel Gen Dead Commando. My name's Ryan, and as I'm sure you're all aware by now, I'm a former Royal Marines Commando from the United Kingdom. And today we're going back to the United Kingdom with our reaction on why you never mess with the Royal Guard. We did the video the other day of why you would never mess with the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, the guards there, the Sentinels, and they were formidable. Really, really impressed with the United State Brothers in Arms. And today we're going back to England, guys, to see how our guards do it, okay? But before we do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel guys it really does help me out if you're not logged into youtube log into youtube and then hit the subscribe button again guys it really does help us out on the platform but see you in the comments get back get back from the queen's guard get back the queen's royal guard has famously stood guard at britain's buckingham palace and other royal residencies for centuries these colorful and highly trained soldiers are an ever-present force, presenting extreme discipline and self-control despite the taunts and attempts by tourists to crack their steely resolve. But what happens when a royal guard comes face to face with people that disrespect the tradition? Do they have to sit there and cop it, or do they fight back? Let's find out. Well, this is the thing that a lot of people around the world wouldn't realise with our Royal Guards, all right? You've got the Grenadier Guards, the Coldstream Guards, the Scots Guards, the Welsh Guards. We've got, um, we've got, we've got loads of different variants of Guardsmen, okay? But there's one thing that they all share in common, guys. They are, they are actually infantiers, all right? They are, they are combat soldiers. They do a, an extensive basic infantry course which lasts around 28 weeks long they they are real soldiers guys they're not just guardsmen all right they these people they do go to war and they fight wars all right close hand-to-hand -hand combat they put the bayonets on they charge they close in and kill the enemy they are really really good soldiers i've had the pleasure of working with a few guardsmen in my time um and the ones that i've worked with are all very 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 professional really really good and uh, they're not just a pretty face, guys. They're not just a pretty uniform. Trust me. The ceremony we all know as the changing of the guards was first performed at the Palace of Whitehall until the monarchy moved to St. James Palace. Their watch would continue until Queen Victoria decided she needed a little more room and relocated the family to Buckingham Palace. Rather than just leave St. James Palace unguarded, a small detachment was left to guard the Queen's former residence. Today, that trend continues with the Queen's Royal Guards responsible for keeping watch over several royal buildings throughout the UK. Millions of tourists flock to the grounds of St. James and Buckingham Palace every year to watch the famous changing of the guard ceremony. In this precision practice drill, the previous shift hands over the duty of protection to the next shift, effectively changing from the old to new guard. Life of the Royal Guard Despite their almost novelty appearance, members of the Royal Guard are not to be underestimated. Every member of the Royal Guard is an elite combat soldier, trained in deadly weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. They are there you go. Not a lot of guys would know that. They're not just doing ceremonial all the time. You've got the drillers and you've got the killers, as we would say, and a large proportion of them still go to war, guys. Trust me. Subjected to intense psychometric testing and must satisfy specific physical criteria in order to be considered. One of those criteria is height. Just a few years ago, if you were under six foot two inches, there was no chance of you serving in this prestigious role. As of 2017, they've literally lowered the bar, allowing people who are at least 510 to be part of the guard. A royal guard must never leave his post, standing to attention at all times. That means if nature calls, hold it. You might even say having a big bladder is a prerequisite for signing up. This goes for fainting too. Those bearskin caps can get awfully hot in the swelt. Yeah, I've seen a few people faint in the time, guys, and um, it looks horrendous. Yeah, you're going to probably smash your face in. Um, and normally the drill for getting you off the parade square looks quite horrible as well but you know you've got to remain professional and yeah make sure you eat before you stand in on duty because if you don't you're going to go face planting into the floor during summer sun and a fainting guard isn't all that uncommon if a guard starts to feel themselves getting dizzy or seeing stars they must remain at attention until they pass out there's even a name for it it's called <laughs> fainting to attention although we prefer <laughs> falling with style <laughs> it, it looks funny for me because I've seen this happen, guys, and it's literally, you know, it probably could be 
Um, it probably could be stopped by eating a good meal on the morning and filling up because if you don't have a good meal, believe it or not, standing up for a long time can, can be quite hard and you do see people cream it in, as we would say. Do they speak? Despite their steely resolve, the Queen's Guards will warn you if you are getting too close or if you're disrespecting their traditions. They most commonly shout, make way for the Queen's Guard at tourists who get too close. Go the fence! <laughs> Here you can see what happens when you try to be funny near the guards. Oh! Get your shit away! You can't be done that you're standing at all! Don't get too close. You've been. Right, he was Scottish. Even I couldn't understand what he said there. But you know, the Scottish are quite aggressive sounding people, so hopefully it did the trick. Horn. <laughs> Smiling is forbidden. Do you know someone who is never in a good mood? The kind of person who yawns on a roller coaster? Well, maybe they should consider a career as a British Royal Guard because smiling and laughing is a big no-no within this crack team of combat professionals. Not even a beautiful girl asking for a selfie will sway the steel gaze of the Royal Guard. In fact, it might do though, all right? We can we can pretend it doesn't, but it probably does. In fact, it's so frowned upon, soldiers that break their composure are often fined up to $260 just for smiling. That's not <laughs> to say it doesn't happen though. Here, a couple of tourists managed to make this guard crack. All right, all right. Maybe we can see this. All right. All right. Yeah. This has to be really entertaining for him, I hope. Yes, yes, yes. Killers in disguise. The Queen's Royal Guard may be more ceremonial than anything, but they're no laughing matter. These no, that's the thing where the information's wrong on this. It's, they, they, they're not more ceremonial. They just have a ceremonial um, element to their job. And there's quite a lot of people don't really partake in this at all. They'll do maybe one stint ceremonial, then they'll be in a fighting unit for, for the rest of their time. You know, I know quite a few guys who who will choose the combat side of things a lot more than they do the, the ceremonial. But you get those who want to do ceremonial all of the time. So it's it's um almost the option is yours once you've done at least a stint of it. Does that make sense? Soldiers are highly trained combat assassins and have the authority to fire or injure if they feel the queen is in danger. And while the SA-80 rifle that the guards hold is not generally loaded with live ammunition, there are occasions where rounds are provided in times of heightened security. Even still, I'm pretty sure the point end of the muzzle still hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna hurt. Royal Bloopers Despite their fierce reputation and deadly combat skills, the Royal Guards are, after all, human. They slip, trip, and make mistakes just like the rest right. of us. The only difference- Troops, your drill boots that you use have got studs on the bottom, metal studs which, you know, amplify the sound, creates to that effect, and trust me, they are proper slippy okay in in wet you're gonna go over guys if you if you on stand on metal you're slipping over it's it's actually quite tricky the way you march to stay up on your feet trust me it's like walking on ice so i fell over quite a few times in my drill boots when i was in the marines it's um it's commonplace all right it happens all the time but you know that's why you practice 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 but we all are human and mistakes do happen difference is <laughs> someone's always filming them <clears throat> This one had to hurt. Oh, straight on his knee. Some would say this guard's performance is slipping. Happens. Check out this bad fall. In this clip, a comedian manages to make a royal guard smile. Take a look. Right then, here's a question for you guys. Do you think this is disrespectful? Because I do. I think it's disrespectful. You know that these people, you can't interact with the guards and stuff and trying to get a reaction out of them. It's almost a gimmick. But 
I think it's a bit disrespectful. I don't know if that's because I've been in the military, but I do. That's what I think. Let me know in the comments, guys. Oh, what? <laughs> is that a name? Shake of a head is not a name. Please say your name. And by recess, you know, we just this guy is hanging out. Him, his mother always picked him up. This guy is not a comedian. I don't know why I class him as a comedian. He's quite terrible, to be honest with you. School, you know, he's that type of guy until he was 20. His mother picked him up from school. <laughs> The Royal Guard certainly has some moves. <laughs> the hats. It's probably best to address the elephant. <laughs> right. If you if you if you're from Great Britain and you're watching this, if you if you've been in the military, if you call another person a hat in the military if they say a hat or you're a hat you that that's quite offensive guys all right so the fact that he said the hats <laughs> is actually really disrespectful and he probably doesn't even know that he's basically calling them hats um <laughs> if you know you know trust me or should i say bear in the room the giant black hats that closely resemble a fluffy boom mic aren't hats at all they're bear skins <laughs> and they have a proud and quirky history that dates back over right they're not bear skins anymore actually only the officers i think will have bear skins um due to obviously animal rights and stuff like that but the 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 normal guardsmen the 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 non the, the junior non-commissioned officers will be uh, just a material it's not bear skin though 200 years. The French Emperor Napoleon dressed his Imperial Guards in tall bearskin caps while he was in power in the early 19th century. He did so in the belief that the extra height would intimidate his opponents. Well, it didn't work out so great for Napoleon after his troops were defeated by the British in the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. Wanting a souvenir of their victory, the British then collected these bearskin caps and took them home as trophies. The bearskin caps were eventually adopted to be a part of the British Grenadier guards uniform and spread to other parts of the British military. Most helmets have a strap that goes under the chin to secure it tightly. The Royal Guards bearskin has a nose strap for safety. At 18 inches in height and weighing up to 1.5 pounds, you'd need both a strong neck and a robust nose to keep that baby on. Surely that design poses some problems. I know, the one dude almost slipped. Turns out there is a reason for the nose strap. That big black cap was a prime target for cavalry, and a shot to the cap could quite easily break a soldier's neck if it was hit hard enough. Fastening the cap under the nose ensures that the hat flies off and doesn't take the soldier's head with it. Oh, huh. and don't worry, while the bearskin caps used to be made from Canadian black bear fur, the Queen's Royal Guard are now all completely vegan. As in, you'll only... That's what I said before, guys, for animal rights, which is a good thing find fake fur on the heads of these soldiers. Make way for the Queen's Guard. The Queen's Royal Guard have precision movements that are timed to the second. This means that they don't have time to stop for people in their way. If you're standing in the path of a Royal Guardsman completely oblivious to what's going on around you, you're going to get barged out of the way. It looks quite aggressive, but, you know, that's the rules, and she's behind the line. She shouldn't be there at the end of the day. Do you agree with that, guys? Should our guards be able to push them out of the way? I think it's a good thing. Sometimes innocent bystanders can also cop the brutal arm of the Queen's Royal Guard. If you're quick, you can see this guard do what we've all thought about doing at least once in our lives. So what do you think of the Royal Guards? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like. Troops, what do you think of the Royal Guards, actually? I, I've got, I mean, I'm biased. It's British military. Um, I love the Queen's Guards. I love the um, any of the Guardsmen. The Coldstream, the Grenadiers, Scots Guards. You know, I've met good and bad in all of the regiments in the British Army. But the, 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 the Guardsmen, they're, they're good at what they do, guys, okay? And they're not just Guardsmen for ceremonial duties. They are infantiers as well, capable of being deployed in a war zone and fighting among the best soldiers in Great Britain. So hopefully you like that one, guys. Drop me a comment below. Um, what's your thoughts on the, on the Royal Guard? And like, share, and subscribe to the video troops. Peace.